up for sale now vehicle max we have a beautiful 2010 chevrolet suburban ltz two-wheel drive black on black with only 63,000 miles and uh it's completely loaded up with factory navigation color back of camera factory part moonroof factory dvd player uh, factory 20 inch polished wheels with four brand new good years just installed it has, also has uh, heated seats cool seats and a number of other options that i'll get into in just a little bit it has a clean title and also qualifies for Carfax's buyback guarantee as well as for an extended warranty. We're located at 3071 Northwest 107th Avenue in Doral, Florida, which is the same thing as Miami, Florida. 33172 is our zip code. Open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturdays 9 to 5, and always closed on Sundays. We have been to car business since 1992 and have sold over 32,000 cars. We are an accredited member of the Better Business Bureau with an A plus rating. You can check that out for yourself at our website. Right on the home page is a clickable link to the Better Business Bureau site, which will take you right to our rating. If you have any questions, feel free to call me. My name is George. I can be reached at 305-218-5462. All right, uh, we're going to finish going around the vehicle, get it started, show you all the interior options. Okay, you got our uh, parking sensors in the rear bumper. I'll come back to that, but you got two on each side. Those are the ones that beep when you're approaching the vehicle or object. Also, you got a class three heavy duty tow package with the electric connection there ready to go for all your towing needs. A roof rack with crossbars to slide up and down the side rails for your luggage. I'm gonna go ahead and stop at every wheel and tire so you can see that they're in great shape. And let's start from here back. And I'll get inside to show you the interior options. Wish I had a little bit more room here, so I'm trying to back off so you can see the entire vehicle. Get also a remote start. And I'll show you how that works. Car has to be locked. Come and press it and hold this little circle here. You're, um, your uh, signal lights will flash and the vehicle turns right on. This is a really neat feature, especially in the summer when it's nice and hot outside. As long as you had, to, you had your air conditioning on when you last left the vehicle, when the car comes on, so will the AC, and it will cool down the car for you. In the winter, the opposite. As long as you had the heater on when you last left the vehicle, when the car comes on, so will the heater, and it will warm up the car for you. When you're ready to drive off, all you got to do is um, uh, unlock the vehicle, open the door, put the key in the ignition switch, open it, and you're ready to go. If you change your mind and want to turn it off, Press the little circle again. There's three different ways to open up the power tailgate. You can do it from your remote control, as I'm about to do now. And there's also a switch on the inside of the vehicle, or you can simply just squeeze the tailgate handle. By the way, from time to time, you're gonna hear some roosters. We got some roosters running around here that are making a ton of noise during the video. To close the tailgate, you can press here, or you can also do it from your remote control here. All right, let's go ahead and get inside of the vehicle, show you all the interior options. The door panels are all black with the wood trimming. We got um, cool seats, heating of the backrest, and heating of the entire seat. Memory seats for up to two drivers. Of course, we got power windows, power door locks, power mirrors, power folding mirrors. Got storage here and a bottle holder here. Dual power seat, power recliner, and lumbar support. You got uh, curtain side airbags, as well as seat side airbags. Before I sit down, let me pan over the seating area now so you can see it's in great shape without any cuts, tears, or burn holes. Matter of fact, there's no burn holes anywhere in the seats, door panels, headliner, or, or, or carpeting, and there's no odor of smoke. Automatic headlights that come out of sunset and come off at of sunrise. A manual tilt wheel. You got also fog lights. Let me go ahead and get inside now and get it started for you. Okay. Okay, let's put the AC on. It's nice and warm outside today. All right. Got a power sliding moonroof, and we're probably gonna get that open now so we can get a little better lighting for the video. It is a glass moonroof, it is tinted, but also has this hard cover that blocks out the sun completely. Uh, this one here is to vent. To tilt in the back, this one here is to slide it. We're gonna press it and it goes all the way to there and then you press it one more time for it to go that last little bit. 
All right, up here you got your uh, power tailgate switch. This is how you open them and close the tailgate from in here. Uh, in uh, factory navigation, when you put the vehicle in reverse, you get your color backup camera, and that along with the parking sensor should help you avoid any accidents when backing up. Okay. All right, uh, let's start from the bottom up here. You got uh, your center console here. You got storage in there. Uh, USB port and cigarette lighter adapter. You got also an auxiliary port here for a, uh, so for your iPod, so you can put your iPod music right there. This pops open into a cup holder. In addition to storage, doesn't need this one didn't have an ashtray, so it looks like no previous smoker. Okay, so a um, couple cigarette lighter adapters, power adjustable pedals. This pedal, uh, this uh, feature allows you to move the pedals away from you and towards you about four or five inches which comes in really handy when you have a very tall driver or a very short driver this one here is to disable the parking sensors this one here is to disable the traction control dual climate control I'm putting the passenger side let's say at 70 and uh, while the driver's side is at 60 and all that really does is makes this AC vent here and that AC vent over there blow at 70 well this one here and this one over here will blow at 60 or whatever it is you set it to let's put it back down because like I said it's hot outside Okay, um, let's come over here, press audio, and we got a movie playing back there. You can play movies on your uh, navigation screen, as you can see here, as long as the vehicle is in park, okay? And as you can see, it is a touch screen. Let's go check out the DVD in the back real quick. We'll come back to the front and to the back. All right, so there's your factory DVD playing, and it's playing the same exact movie on uh, both uh, screens. Again, once you get the car out of park, you will only be able to watch the movie on the roof-mounted unit back there, not the front, uh, for safety reasons, of course, okay? Uh, let's see what else here. All right, uh, power windows in one touch, and you got, on the, on the mirror, you got turn signals, and there are power folding. All right. Okay. Uh, let's see what else here. Flip the window. All right. You got cooling and heating of the. Uh, she can sneak the camera in here. All right. Uh, this one here is to cool it. Press it once. It lights up and blue up here to let you know it's cold, and it goes straight to high. If you press it again, medium. One more time for low, and one more time for off. And then the, these does these do the exact same thing, except this one heats only the backrest, and this one heats the entire seat. And this one lights up down here in red. That's so, so at night, if you're not, if you can't see the buttons too well, you know that you put it on heat. That's on high. Press it again for medium, low, and off. All right. Okay, the car has 63,990 miles. To the right of the odometer, you got a compass that lets us know that we're pointing heading in the north direction and the outside temperature. The car is running right now. Keep an eye on the tachometer. I'm going to rev the engine. All right, 5.3 liter V8. And the reason I'm doing that is just so you can see that the car is running and idling perfectly and that there are no check engine light on, no airbag light, no service engine soon, no maintenance zoom, nothing like that. The only light that's on is the seatbelt light because I'm not wearing my seatbelt to shoot a video. All right, uh, uh, at the end of the shifter lever here, you got a towing haul mode, you press that. And that is in case you're towing a boat or a trailer, it's gonna disable the overdrive and make the transmission shift a little differently in order to adjust for the extra cargo load. When you're done towing, press the button, and the wagon goes away, you're back into normal shifting. If you wanna go into manual shifting mode after you get on the D, you, you move the lever to the D and then you go down to the M and now you can shift up or down using these buttons over here. Get your onboard computer right here, which is for your personal settings, trip settings, system checks, and that's all going to display right where the odometer is at. Okay. Uh, let's put a little music up in the front here. Okay. You have um, remote controls on the steering wheel. It does have the uh, Bose stereo sound system. So raise the volume here. Lower it over here. Muted here in the center. Um, your source button. This is to help you navigate from AM to FM to XM to DVD and auxiliary. This one here is your seek button. Takes you to the next available station. 
uh, well, this here is to navigate about your preset stations those are the ones that you set down here yourself which of course can be changed um, once you pair your phone to the Bluetooth you can answer the phone over here and hang it up over here if you're not using the Bluetooth you can hold down uh, the mute button to access your voice commands on the left hand side you got your cruise control all right if you look at the steering wheel area here go all the way around kind of getting a little bit of shadows coming from the sun setting here so I, I don't know how good it looks but it's in really good shape it's not it's, the stitching is not coming apart it's got plenty of color it's not ripped or torn anywhere uh, okay let's see here what else uh, you got your home uh, home link or universal garage door opener where you can program up to three garage doors or gates if you happen to live in a gated community. If you purchase a vehicle from us, you will get a 90-day free trial with the OnStar at no cost to you. Uh, for details on that, uh, visit OnStar.com. Okay, let's see here. Um, I think we can go ahead and move over to the back. So let me turn off the vehicle. And we'll move back there. All right, um, left rear door panel, same way, all black with the wood trimming. This vehicle is equipped with a child lock protection. I'll show you how that works. Give this a half a turn, and what that does is that disables the inside door handle. That's in case you got little ones, uh, and once you engage that, the only handle that's going to open the door is the outer handle. To re engage for adult passengers or bigger kids, just come back here and do the opposite. Give it a half a twist to the right and this handle will start working again. This is a seven passenger vehicle, two in the front, two more in the center, and a full bench in the rear for three passengers, so a total of seven. Okay, um, you have, in here you have anchors for your baby car seat, so you can put your, put your baby car seat on either one of these two uh, bucket seats. In the back of the center console, by the way, these middle row buckets, I don't know if you can see that, they are heated. Okay, you control them, you press there, and it's going to light up here what, uh, what speed you're on, whether it's high, medium, or low. You have controls for the rear AC, the stereo, a video input, so if you can power through a cigarette lighter adapter, you can watch it up here on your roof mounted unit. All right, uh, cigarette lighter adapter here. This pops open into a cup holder. To gain access to the rear, the little ones just usually walk in between. But if you want to make the seat flip forward, you press this button, the seat back will go down, and it'll lift from the bottom up like this to give you nice and easy access to the third row. Up at the top here, we got a set of AC vents for the um, middle row passengers. Onto the DVD, you get integrated map lights. You press on here. And then back here, you got another set of AC vents and map lights for the rear row passengers. Back there, you also got cup holders. And all the passengers have over the shoulder belt, including the middle row passenger, back there. And more cup holders over here. All right. Let's continue around to the passenger side. Okay, so like I said before, you can also open the tailgate by squeezing the tailgate handle. Clearly, the vehicle has to be on lock for that. Otherwise, it won't open. Okay, and the Suburban is uh, like the Yukon XL and the Cadillac Escalade ESV that has this uh, extra area back here for storage, even with the seat up. Uh, that is a 50-50 bench row seat, and there's several actions you can take with it. If you pull on the handle over there, the seat back will just fall down, and you can put stuff on top of it. If you want to go into cargo mode without removing the seat, after pulling on that handle, pull that little handle there, handle number two, and then the seat will actually lift from the back to the front and stand up right out against the back of the center row seat. If you want to remove it, after you pull up on handle number one, the seat back will go down, grab that center handle there, pull it toward you, and the seat will come out. You got another a cigarette lighter adapter over here. Let's go ahead and close up here. We'll move over to the passenger side. All right, right rear door panel. Panel with seating area. I don't know if I did that on the other side. I may have forgotten. Let's do it again from here. Okay, let's move over to the front. It does have the factory floor mats, both the front and rear. And you got the, even a cargo mat in the back and uh, area that we were just looking at just a little bit ago. Right front door panel. Like I said before, dual power seat, recliner, and lumbar support with side support. And let's panel with the passenger seating area here one last time before we conclude the video. Before we conclude the video, I would like to talk to you briefly about financing. 
If you require financing, let me tell you, we have excellent rates for good credit. We also have special financing for not such good credit. We even got some programs for really rough credit if you're concerned about the financing. You live a long distance away, or you simply just want us to get you pre-approved before you come over, just go to the website, vehiclemax.net, right on the home page, up at the top, you'll see a tab that says apply for credit, click it, fill it out completely, click submit at the bottom of the page, and then give us a call so we can retrieve your application and get you pre-approved. That's going to do it for the video in this unit. I want to thank you for watching our video at vehiclemax.net.